Hi friends, welcome to KVR Maths Academy. In this video, let's discuss the concept of quadratic equations in 10th class mathematics. Right? So, before discussing this topic, friends, please subscribe my YouTube channel, those who are not subscribed yet. Thank you. Yes, let's discuss this topic. Yeah. See, this is the quadratic equations. This is the fifth chapter in 10th class mathematics. Very, very important chapter this is. Yes. Let us discuss this one. Yeah. See, what is a quadratic equation? What is a quadratic equation? So, before learning a quadratic equation, first, uh, I'll explain the basic things regarding this chapter. Right? Yes. First one, that is uh, expression. Expression and equation. Next, uh, identity identity right so what is expression what is equation what is identity let's discuss yes what is expression already in the previous video which means uh, in polynomial chapter itself uh, i have explained uh, clearly in the concept of polynomials uh, expressions uh, variables constants everything i have explained so if you want to watch that uh, I'll provide the link in the description. You may watch, right? Yes. Now see what is expression? What is expression? Yes, the combination of variables and constants. The combination of variables and constants which are combined by the four fundamental operations. Four fundamental operations we, we know very well now. Yes, plus, minus, into, division, those are only. Yes, the combination of constant variables combined by the four fundamental operations are called expressions. Simply suppose I have taken x square minus 1. x square minus 1. See here variable only x is there and constant 1 is there. So this is the combination of one fundamental operation that is minus, right? Suppose 2x minus 3 plus 9x square. So, this is the also combination of variables and constants. Next, 2x cube plus 3x minus 2x square plus 9. So, it is also the combination of variables and constants. Right. So, these are called expressions. These are called expressions. Why? Because of the variables and constants which are combined by the four fundamental operations so that's why these are called expressions right next what is an equation what is an equation suppose look here first one only i have taken x square minus one x square minus one is equal to some five i have written x square minus one is equal to five i have written so then then this will be x square minus 1 is equal to 5 I have written now so this is the symbol having this is the symbol having equal to so that's why it is called equation understood clearly here x square minus 1 is equal to 5 I am equating two expressions so that's why it is called an equation right suppose another one 9 x square minus 2 x plus 3 is equal to 0 I have written 0 here it is it is also having equal to so that's why it is also called an equation it is also called an equation next 2 x cube minus 3 is equal to 7 x plus 2 7 x plus 2 so it is also it is also the symbol is having equal to so that's why it is also an equation it is also an equation understood clearly so and uh, both the expressions which is uh, both the expressions which are combined by the symbol equal to is called simply an equation understood clearly yes x square minus 1 is equal to 5 9 x square minus 2 x plus 3 is equal to 0 2 x cube minus 3 is equal to 7 x plus 2 these are the expressions are combined by the symbol equal to that's why it is called an equation 
and it should clearly here in the equation there will be here for equal to this one is called LHS left hand side and this is called RHS in equation there will be LHS and RHS also and it should clearly yes next coming to identity what is an identity yes in our earlier classes we have discussed so many identities what are those simply one example say yes first one x plus y whole square is equal to x plus y whole square is equal to x square plus 2xy plus y square x square plus 2xy plus y square which one x plus y whole square is equal to this is an algebraic identity right another one x square x plus y into x minus y have taken that is equal to x square minus y square x plus y into x minus y is equal to x square minus y square this is also identity right it is also symbol having equal to and for equal to lhs and rhs here also lhs and rhs also there yes uh, you are asking sir here also lhs and rhs are there here also lhs and rhs are there next equal to equal to are there why why you have it is a uh, calling as equation and it is calling as identity somebody may ask so yes what is the difference between equation and identity can you say yes see here for equation and identity for suppose identity whatever values you may substitute in the place of x and y whatever values here lhs should be equal to rhs lhs should be equal to rhs suppose i have taken x plus y into x minus y here in the place of x i have taken 2 in the place of y i have taken 1 2 plus 1 into 2 minus 1 is equal to 2 square minus 1 square I have substituted 2 and 1. Suppose 2 plus 1 is 3 into 2 minus 1, 1. That is equal to 2 square is 4 minus 1. 3 ones are 3, that is equal to 4 minus 1, 3. Both are equal. So not only for this 2 and 1, whatever you take. Suppose, suppose I have taken, yes, say any example. Yes, suppose in the place of 10, in the place of x I have taken 10, in the place of y I have taken 20 right so 100 suppose 100 i have taken 100 plus 20 into 100 minus 20 is equal to 100 square minus 20 square so 100 plus 20 is yes, 120 into 100 minus 20 80 that is equal to 100 square how much yes 10000 minus 20 square is 400 so 128 ja 9 8 12 96 so 9600 so here 10000 minus 400 how much yes this is also 9600 both are equal yes exactly both are equal so whatever values you may take about x and y those lhs should be equal to rhs but here in equation not like that in equation not like that Suppose x square minus 1 is equal to 5 I have taken. Suppose in the place of x I have taken 1. 1 square minus 1 is equal to how much? 1, 1 square minus 1 is 0. So this is 0. It is not equal to 5. It is not equal to 5. Suppose in the place of 2 I have taken 2 square minus 1. 2 square is 4. 4 minus 1 3. So it is also not equal 3. It is also not equal to 5. So, which one if you substitute in the place of x, it may equal to 5. Can you say? Yes. See, the, that can be written as x square is equal to 5 plus 1. So, x square is equal to 5 plus 1, 6. So, x is equal to plus or minus root 6. If you substitute in the place of x, in the place of x plus or minus 6, then this should be satisfied this should be satisfied otherwise it cannot satisfy so 
if you substitute in the place of x plus root 6 and minus root 6 this will be equal this will be satisfied otherwise may not satisfy another example i am taking see x square plus 1 is equal to 5 x square plus 1 is equal to 5. So, x square is equal to 5 minus 5 minus 1. x is equal to x square is equal to 4. x is equal to root 4 which means plus or minus 2. Plus or minus 2. See, in the place of x substitute 2. 2 square plus 1. It is equal to 5. Right? 2 square is 4. 4 plus 1, 5. Next, minus 2 whole square plus 1 is equal to 5. Minus 2 whole square is plus 4 only. Plus 4 plus 1 plus 5. These both are equal. Suppose I have taken 1 only in the place of x. 1 square plus 1 is not equal to 5, isn't it? 1 square means 1. 1 plus 1, 2 only. 2 not equal to 5. Suppose uh, 3 square. 3 square plus 1. 3 square is 9. 9 plus 1, 10. 10 may not equal to 5 not equal to 5 right so here in the equation in the equation itself satisfies want some values only satisfied here in identity whatever you substitute in the place of uh, the variables it may satisfy here not satisfy for every value so that's why it is called an equation it is called identity have you understood clearly Yes, for identity, any value, any value may satisfy LHS will be equal to RHS should come. Here, any equation will not come. Only two or more values, some values only satisfy. Those values are called roots of the given equation. Here, in the place of x square plus 1 is equal to 5, in this equation, if you substitute 5, plus 2 and plus 2 and minus 2 this satisfies no this satisfies the equation no so then plus 2 and minus 2 are called roots roots of the given equation plus 2 and minus 2 are called roots of the given equation understood clearly so the remaining all are not the roots of the given equation here also see plus 6 plus or minus 6 this is, these are the values of, these are the roots of the given equation x square minus 1 is equal to 5. Suppose, simply I have written 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. For x value, which one if you substitute, 0 will occur? Yes. See, in the place of x, uh, if I substitute minus 1 by 2, plus 1, 2, 2 get cancelled, minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0. So, then minus 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2 is called the root of the given equation. The root of the given equation. Understood clearly? Yes. Now, I will explain quadratic equation. What is a quadratic equation? Let us see. See, any equation, any equation of the form p of x is equal to 0 any equation of the form p of x is equal to 0 where p of x is a polynomial polynomial of degree degree 2 p of x is any equation of the form p of x is equal to 0 p of x is a polynomial of degree 2 is called a is called an quadratic equation is called a quadratic equation here see i have taken some equations here x square minus 1 is equal to 5 9x square minus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 2x square 2x cube minus 3 is equal to 7x plus 2 x square minus 1 is equal to 5 i already have taken here so in this in this equation what is the quadratic equation See here, the first equation itself, what is A? What is the degree? What is the degree? Degree means highest power in the polynomial. Highest power in the polynomial, which means here highest power is 2 only, no? Yes, 2. Here is highest power is? Yes, here also 2. Next, here highest power is 3. 
right so what has given clearly if p of x is equal to 0 p of x is a polynomial of degree 2 here polynomials of degree 2 what are these x square minus 1 is equal to 5 9 x square minus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 these are quadratic equations these are quadratic equations why because here suppose if transfer into this one 5 transfer into this this side it will become x square minus 1 ma minus 5 means x square minus 6 x square x square minus 6 is equal to 0 or not yes it is also a quadratic equation p of x is equal to 0 has given clearly so it is also 9 x square minus 2 x plus 3 is equal to 0 here this polynomial or this expression of degree 2 so that's why it is also a quadratic equation so p of x is equal to 0 p of x is a polynomial of degree 2 is called simply a quadratic equation suppose if you write uh, examples means x square minus 6 is equal to 0 x square plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 5 9x 9x square minus 2 is equal to 0 so these are all the quadratic equations these are all quadratic equations understood clearly yes next what is its general form general form of the quadratic equation what is the general form of the quadratic equation yes look here suppose ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a comma b comma c belongs to r and a is not equal to 0 ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 a b c belongs to r and where a is not equal to 0 is it is the general form of the quadratic equation what is the general form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 here why see here why a not equal to 0 has given if equal to 0 if a is equal to 0 then this total total term will be will become 0 then it will become bx plus c here power is 1 only so it is not quadratic equation now it is linear equation then that will be so then here ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a comma b comma c belongs to r these are all real numbers where a is not equal to 0 it is the general form of the quadratic equation have you understood clearly yes so now i will explain the concept of quadratic equations some important points in quadratic equations right okay some important facts about a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero right see first one first one is suppose a complex number a complex number alpha is the root alpha is called the root of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero then a alpha square plus b alpha plus c is equal to zero understood if alpha any complex number alpha is the root of the given equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero then this will become a alpha square plus b alpha plus c is equal to zero understood clearly next next point suppose for ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero the quadratic equation the value of a is equal to one the value of a is equal to 1 then this quadratic equation is called monic quadratic equation monic quadratic equation monic quadratic equation if the value of a is equal to 1 in the play in the equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 then this will be called monic quadratic equation suppose for example see this is 9x square plus 2x plus minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 0 is the quadratic equation. Here in the place of a, here a is equal to 9 now. So in the place of a is equal to 1x square plus 2x plus 1. Simply x square plus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0 is called a monic quadratic equation. 
is called a monic quadratic equation. Understood clearly? Yes. Next point. <coughs> next point, this is alpha. Next is here, a is equal to 1. Next, a quadratic equation at most have two zeros or two roots. A quadratic equation has at most two zeros. It has only two zeros. Not more than two zeros. Not more than two zeros. Next, uh, the root of the roots of the given quadratic equation is given by the roots of the given quadratic equation is given by x is equal to minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 2 b square minus 4ac by 2a it was given by yes our indian mathematician sridharacharya you know very well i think sridharacharya this formula was given by our indian mathematician sridharacharya okay so next uh, here x is equal to minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a has come now here b square minus 4ac b square minus 4ac is called discriminant is called discriminant it is shown by d or delta it is shown by d or delta so in the root itself b square minus 4ac is called discriminant it is uh, shown by d or delta understood clearly next <coughs> next point here if alpha comma beta are the roots of alpha comma beta alpha comma beta are the roots of the given quadratic equation a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero then the equation will be x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to zero if alpha comma beta are the roots of the given equation a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero then that will become x square minus alpha plus beta into x plus alpha beta is equal to zero understood clearly yes again alpha comma beta are the roots then x square my x square ax square plus bx plus c is equal to ax square plus bx plus c is equal to a into x minus alpha into x minus beta here ax square plus bx plus c is equal to a into x minus alpha into x minus beta when alpha comma beta are the roots then ax square plus bx plus c is equal to a into x minus alpha into x minus beta is it clear next <coughs> if alpha comma beta alpha comma beta are the roots of given equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 then sum of the roots sum of the roots sum of the roots alpha plus beta is equal to we know very well yes minus b by a sum of the roots alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a next product of the roots product of the roots alpha beta is equal to yes exactly c by a here sum of the roots is minus b by a product of the roots uh, alpha beta is equal to c by a next uh, difference of the roots difference of the roots do you know that yes modulus alpha minus beta is equal to yes exactly root delta by root delta by mod a here difference of the roots uh, delta alpha minus beta is equal to root delta by modulus a here delta means discriminant understood about these points yes next where where quadratic equation can be used in mathematics how can how can you apply how can you apply quadratic equation in mathematics right let us see suppose a rectangle is there a rectangle is there 
its area is 400 meter square its area is 400 meter square has given next uh, clearly it has given that the length of the the length of the rectangle will be two more than the length of the rectangle will be two more two meters more than twice of its breadth twice of its breadth then can you measure the length and breadth of the rectangle it has given like that so how can you take now yes exactly clearly given that the length of the rectangle is two meters more than twice that of breadth so then length and breadth of the rectangle how can you find yes let us find see suppose here breadth i have taken x breadth i have taken x then length will be equal to two meters more than twice that of breadth twice that of breadth means 2x plus 2 meters more than means s2 so here breadth will be x meters and length will be 2x plus 2 meters understood clearly uh, now here here clearly given that area of the rectangle is 400 meter square yes we know very well about that what is that area of the rectangle is length into breadth right length into breadth so length into breadth is equal to 400 already given meter square here length is 2x plus 2 into breadth is x is equal to 400 see x into 2x 2x square plus 2x is equal to 400 see 2x square plus 2x minus 400 is equal to minus 400 is equal to 0 so this is the quadratic equation isn't it so this is the quadratic equation 2x square plus 2x minus 400 so by using factorization or uh, completing square method we can find the uh, x value we can find the x value or otherwise use the formula minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a we can easily find the roots of the given equation understood so this is the example which was used in our mathematics so another example suppose a triangle is there a triangle a triangle hypotenuse is 25 centimeters has 25 centimeters has given next uh, here one side is the difference between two sides is 5 centimeters has given the difference between two sides is 5 centimeters has given then how can what are the lengths of these two sides we may find so the dif difference between two sides is 5 centimeters given now yes here suppose one is x one is x another side will become how much yes x plus 5 x plus 5 or not see x plus 5 minus x will become x x get cancelled 5 difference between two sides is 5 centimeters clearly given now yes x plus 5 minus x will be equal to 5 so these are the uh, sides i have taken x and x plus 5 so according to pythagoras principle we can take we can find easily no yes what is that in a right angle triangle the square of hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides right so here x square plus x plus 5 whole square is equal to 25 square isn't it so this is x square plus uh, divide x square plus 2 into x into 5 yes 10x plus 5 square is 25 is equal to 625 right yes x square plus x square 2x square plus 10x here 25 625 transfer into this side it will become minus 625 now 25 minus 625 minus 600 is equal to 0 so this is also a quadratic equation this is also quadratic equation by using any method we can find the roots of the given equation understood clearly yes next uh, for finding roots of quadratic equations for finding roots of quadratic equations there are three methods one is factorization method completing square method and the third one is formula method so first one is factorization method second one is completing square method and third one is formula method so 
how can you find by using these methods let us take one example yes suppose x square plus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0 i have taken this is the quadratic equation right x square plus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0 so by using this example i'll explain these three methods right so first factorization method in earlier classes uh, we have learned about a factorization method right here actually this is x square plus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0 this is monic quadratic equation no why because not there a anything right yes now for my, my for 21 we have to find factors 21 means 21 121s are next uh, three sevens are see three sevens means seven minus three will become four only na? yes for this we'll apply three and seven right so this can be written as x square here plus four x has given so here plus four and minus three minus 21 means three into seven 21 minus into plus minus see plus 7x minus 3x minus 21 is equal to 0. Is it clear? Yes. In this both, what is the common part? x is the common one. x plus 7. Here minus 3 is the common one. Again, x plus 7 is equal to 0. Right. Here again, x plus 7 is the common one. x plus 7 into x minus 3 is equal to 0. Here, x plus 7. x plus 7 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0 x is equal to minus 7 or x is equal to plus 3 so here minus 7 and plus 3 are the roots of the roots of the given equation x square plus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0 and is it clearly yes so for completing square method i'll explain the same example see x square plus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0. x square plus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0. So here completing square means here x square plus 4x is equal to plus minus 21 transform this side. It will become plus 21, right? Yeah. Here x square plus it is also can be written as 2 into x into 2, no? 2 into x into 2, right? 2 2 is a 4. 4 plus 4 into x, 4x. So now it is now it is in the form of x square plus 2xy plus y square. If you if we add y square, it will become x plus y whole square identity, right? Yeah. So here add plus 2 whole square, right? That is equal to here also on, on RHS also we should add 2 square. On both sides we have add 2 square isn't it yes now it is in the form of a square plus 2ab plus b square or x square plus 2xy plus y square now it is that is equal to what is that a plus b whole square only now yes now this is x plus 2 whole square it is equal to 21 plus 2 square is 4 x plus 2 whole square is equal to 21 plus 4 is 25 21 plus uh, 4, 25, right? Now, x plus 2 is equal to root of 25. That will become plus or minus 5. Root 25 means plus or minus 5 only or not? Yes. Now, suppose x is equal to plus, x plus 2 is equal to, x plus 2 is equal to 5. Next day, x plus 2 is equal to minus 5. Plus or minus 5 means 2 times we should take, right? Yeah. Now, that is equal to x is equal to 5 minus 2 it will become x is equal to 5 minus 2 3 so x is equal to minus 5 plus 2 transform this side minus 2 x is equal to minus 7 so 3 and minus 7 are the roots of the given equation x square plus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0 here also we got 3 and minus 7 only or not yes next third one formula method this formula was uh, introduced by Sridharacharya. It is also called uh, Sridharacharya. Sridharacharya method. Right? Yes. Here, same example I have taken. X square plus 4x minus 21 is equal to 0. X is equal to plus or minus root of plus or minus. 
माइनस बी प्लस आर माइनस रूट ऑफ बी स्क्वेर माइनस फोर ए सी बाई टू ए राइट दिस वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाई श्रीधर आचार्य राइट हि दिस इज ए एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी ओनली ना सो एज ईक्वल टू वन बी इज ईक्वल टू फोर अंड सी इज ईक्वल टू माइनस ट्वेंटी वन सो इन द प्लेस ऑफ बी ए सी सब्सिट्यूट दीज वैल्यूज सो दट इज इक्वल एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस बी मीन माइनस फोर प्लस आर माइनस रूट ऑफ बी स्क्वेर फोर स्क्वेर माइनस फोर इंटू ए सी ए मीन एस वन ओनली इंटू सी माइनस ट्वेंटी वन राइट माइनस ट्वेंटी वन बाय टू इंटू ए वन ओनली अंडरस्टूड या दट इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर प्लस आर माइनस रूट ऑफ सिक्सटीन माइनस इंटू माइनस प्लस फोर ए फोर ट्वेंटी वन सा एटी फोर बाय टू दट इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर प्लस आर माइनस सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन प्लस एटी फोर हंड्रेड रूट ऑफ हंड्रेड मीन्स टेन ऑलरेडी हि प्लस आर माइनस वी गॉट नो ये टेन राइड ऑन टेन बाय टू माइनस फोर प्लस आर माइनस टेन बाय टू सो फॉर अप्लाई दिस माइनस फोर प्लस टेन बाय टू एंड माइनस फोर माइनस टेन बाय टू सो दैट इज इक्वल टू माइनस फोर प्लस टेन थ्री बाय टू सिक्स बाय टू सिक्स बाय टू का मा माइनस फोर्टीन बाय टू सो टू थ्री जा टू सेवन जा माइनस इसो एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री और माइनस सेवन सो दीज आर ऑल्सो थ्री एंड माइनस सेवन वी गॉट सो वॉट एवर यू मेथड यू अप्लाई यू कैन ईजीली फाइंड द रूट्स ऑफ द गिवेन क्वालिटी इक्वेशन सी हि दिस इज द फैक्ट्राइजेशन मेथड वी गॉट दिस इज द कंप्लीटिंग स्क्वेर मेथड सेम आंसर दिस इज द फॉर्मुला मेथड और श्रीधाराचार्य मेथड ऑल्सो वी गॉट सेम आंसर सो यू मे यूज एनी मेथड ऑफ दिस क्वाडिटिक इक्वेशंस एंड इज नॉट क्लियरली यस नॉट इट ऑन नेक्स्ट नेचर ऑफ द रूट्स ऑफ ए क्वाडिटिक इक्वेशन ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो द नेचर ऑफ द रूट्स ऑफ क्वाडिटिक इक्वेशन ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो वाट वाट इज द नेचर ऑफ द रूट्स ऑफ द गिवन इक्वेशन right so the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 depends upon its discriminant discriminant means so delta is equal to b square minus 4ac b square minus 4ac where a b c belongs to or no so the nature of the roots mainly it depends upon delta b square minus 4ac the which means discriminant right in the first case In the first case, if delta is greater than zero, if delta is greater than zero, the roots are real. The roots are real and distinct. Roots are real and distinct. And sir, if delta, which means b square minus 4ac is greater than zero, then the roots are real and distinct. So the graphs will be like this. See. So suppose here. x y only na this is x and this is y only na we know very well about that yes then the graphs will be like this so it has two roots alpha beta next otherwise like this c alpha beta next like this alpha beta if delta is greater than 0 the roots are real and distinct and it intersects the graph parabola intersect x axis at two points right so here always the graph of quadratic equation will be parabola graph of quadratic equation will be parabola so this is the first case suppose second in second case delta is equal to zero delta equal to zero then the roots are real real and equal real and equal here graphs will be like this see so it has only one zero it has only one zero so otherwise like this <coughs> next like this understood alpha alpha so if delta is equal to 0 
the roots are real and equal the graphs will be like this understood clearly next suppose in third case is delta less than zero if delta which means b square minus 4ac is less than zero it has no real roots so it has no real roots so roots are imaginary roots are imaginary understood why because delta is less than zero then the graphs will be like this see it cannot intersect it cannot intersect the x-axis understood like this cannot intersect the x-axis so here see in the first case if delta is greater than zero the roots are real and distinct real and distinct if here delta is a equal to zero the roots are real and equal and third case delta is less than zero no real roots it has imaginary roots it has imaginary roots then the values will be so x, the roots of the values will be minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac by 2a so for the real and distinct next real and equal means here minus b by 2a and minus b by 2a directly we may take minus b by 2a and minus b by 2a x values the roots of the given equation next here no image no real roots means that is equal to minus b plus or minus root of minus delta minus delta by 2a minus delta by 2a why because uh, here no real roots no imaginary no so that's why we have to take minus delta understood clearly about this yes this is the nature of the roots of the quadratic equation understood clearly yes friends i hope you understand clearly about the concept of quadratic equation if you like my video please like and share don't forget to subscribe Thank you. Thank you very much.